This is Chris, uh, Cafe Solo. Names are interchangeable. If you hear Cafe Solo, think Chris. If you hear Chris, think Cafe Solo. One day, I'm going to tell y'all how I came up with that name. I think it's not, it seems obvious, but it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, maybe I'll tell you as soon as I finish what I'm going to say here after I sneeze. Hang on. <coughs> Woo! Sorry about that. Um, all I wanted to do real quick was drop this out there and just see if there's anybody listening, see if there's anybody uh, that'll kind of bounce back and forth on this, give a little bit of feedback on this thought because I was listening to Pastor Jordan Cooper talk about five reasons he's a Lutheran, all of which are great, uh, really, really great. But what I found fascinating while I was listening, I think, to point number four was uh, some reference he was making to um, the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, works. And works through baptism and all this kind of stuff. And for some reason, it made me think of all the people in the world, Christians in the world, who don't believe in infant baptism, and even more so, they don't believe in the Lord's Supper. They don't believe in what we call, as Lutherans, the real presence in the Supper. And while I understand that some people out there think that that's not accurate enough, it's accurate enough for just generally discussing because it's not a spiritual presence, it's not uh, a symbol, it's not all these kind of things. Christ is actually really present. That is his body and is his blood. So, how can that be? How can such a thing be? How can the finite contain the infinite, if you will? And it made me stop and think how there's so many people out there that look at the 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 world, the Christian world they live in, and what goes through their minds is that God is active in this situation and in that situation, and this is what Pastor Cooper was talking about, and it made me stop and think, okay, if God is actually working in your life at this moment, guiding you to make this decision or that decision, and that's fine. We don't, we don't want to minimize... God working uh, because he does. God works through me to um, bless my family. I'm a, I'm a mask of God, if you will. And God works through my family to bless me and all these kind of things. Uh, it's called loving your neighbor as yourself, right? We love Lord our God best by loving our neighbor. So, if it's possible, and I wanted to pose this question to somebody who believes that Christ can't be in the bread and wine, let alone in the bread and wine, for each person in that church, for everybody in that church body, for everybody around the world that believes that he's present in, with, and under the bread and wine, how can that be? Well, okay, so here's my proposal. If you don't believe that, how can you believe that God is actively working in your life today, at this moment in history, at what would be 428 p.m., today and also actively working in millions of other Christians lives around the world at the exact same time it's not like time stops and God says I'm going to work in Chris's life right now and then when I'm done with that I'm going to go work in Susan's life and Jimmy's life and Steve's life and Raul's life and you know uh, he's not going to say that that's not how God works. God is omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's uh, all these great things. So if they believe that God can be everywhere, God's spirit, is that God the Holy Spirit can be present everywhere in the globe, and they believe that God can be so capable, which he is, of working in all these lives at the same instant in time, why can't they believe that God, the, the Christ, through the bread and through the wine, through those ordinary things, the little wafer and the sip of wine, 
why can't they believe that he can be in with and under those elements if he can be in and with hundreds of millions of people around the globe all at the same time? Maybe that's just a weird thought. Maybe I'm a little off base. I don't know. If I am, let's have a discussion about it. It's just something that popped into my head when Pastor Jordan Cooper, uh, on a very recent uh, Justin Center podcast on the five reasons he's a Lutheran, was talking about all of us being masks of God. What a great thought to not only think that God God uses you, and, you know, the old Lutheran thing, if a, if a mother or father changes their baby baby's diaper, they're doing a greater work than some monk who, I don't know, prays 12 times a day and all this kind of stuff. Those are great works. And we don't herald them. They didn't, not necessarily, should, hey, you changed your baby's diaper today. Woohoo! This shouldn't be necessarily that. But we shouldn't despise them or look down on them either and say, look at the holy work I'm doing. I'm going to church four times a week. I'm there on Wednesdays and then I'm there on Saturdays and I'm there twice on Sundays and I never miss a holiday and I'm in Bible study and in blah 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 you know the, the list goes on. Look at all the holy things I'm doing. That's so much greater than somebody who just changes a diaper. And I just don't. When I learned that, when I learned that, that the ordinary daily works that we do our good holy works that was just such an eye opener for me but that's that's just my thought if, if they can believe so greatly in God working in their lives practically every second of every day he he decided when they were going to wake up and what they were going to wear that day and what they were going to eat for breakfast and what path they were going to drive to work and uh, what work they were going to get at work and whether they were going to go to lunch at this restaurant or that restaurant or whatever, or whether they were going to get stuck in traffic on the way home or have a nice, smooth, clean ride, or whether they were going to um, watch this movie or that TV show or read a book or, you know, take a nap or whatever. If God's that active in their, li their lives, how can they dismiss the real presence of Christ in, with, and under the bread and, bread and wine of Holy Communion? But they do, and that's my thought. I wanted to throw that out there real quick today. There's a new episode of Has American Christianity Failed? The Bible study book study coming very soon. It's already done. I just have to find the time to get it posted. But we have some fun things going on in our family right now with a daughter in town who's moving from one place to another place. And we're going to take her to see our son who's in another place. And it's just exciting and fun. And we're just totally jazzed about that. Why is this called Cafe Solo? Why am I called Cafe Solo? Because I drink coffee alone. No, just kidding. <laughs> I don't like to drink coffee alone, but I'm not opposed to drinking coffee alone. Cafe Sola is, one, simply, and this is, it's much more complicated than this, but here's your, your Reader's Digest version. One, I like coffee. Two, I like the solos of the Reformation. Christ alone, grace alone, faith alone. Throw in scripture alone, and if you're really radical, throw in to God alone be all the glory. I want to be just a good, solid, pious Lutheran. You just stick with the first three, Christ alone, faith alone, or grace alone, and faith alone. But it's all as we find in Scripture alone. And I wanted to be out there making a, a presence on the Internet, on the interwebs, on Facebook particularly at the time, and then on this YouTube channel of mine. And I wanted to be out there saying, you know, Let's not forget about these solas. Let's not forget about these solas. It's, the, the Bible's about Christ alone. It's all about Christ alone. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And it's all Christ for us. It's not us throwing our worship up at God and giving to Him on Sunday mornings. It's about Him coming to us and giving us, us His gifts of word and sacrament. So this is Chris with Catholic Sola. Throwing that out there for you. I'm going to finish my drive home safely. God's blessings on you, and we will talk with you very, very soon.